M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. Quite often I am asked which antenna tuner do I use and I like this one here because they're only about £70. They have a built-in battery that lasts forever. Or you can use it on my Icom 705 which is probably the one I, I use it with the most. But other transceivers like for example the KN990 that do not have a tuner, you can use it with that. And we've also got the RS918 radio as well, Yesu817. I mean it, it is actually a 100 watt antenna tuner. And once it's set up you don't even have to press the button on the front, it just works automatically. There are settings inside for when you are using it as you know, QRP or 100 watt. I would never recommend to use this at its full power of 100 watt, but I think it will at 50 watts it will work no problem at all. And it's HF 1.8 to 30 megahertz, has a very clear display on the front. And once you've learned the menu structure, which is what the tune button's for really, you'll be happy with it. I know, because I've had mine for two years and it works great. So it's up to you. But if I think if you don't want to break the bank, it's a good choice myself. You've got the pro version and you've got the, the, the version that I've got actually, which is the older version. I'd get the pro one if I, you know, if I um, didn't already have the, the standard version. Just scout, scouring through their different images here. So check it out. See what you think. Cool, a lot of images. The the newer version has got the this this sort of um, white writing on the front underneath the screen, but they look the cases look identical to me. Bye for now. Seven three. All the best.